Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And here we go with a with our toaster carrier that is loaded up with 20 square fighters. And today I would like to do a couple things. First, I want to turn that off so I don't get all those notification-y things. And second, we need to wire up my jump drive. Or my faster than light drive. So my FTL. So we're gonna need a chamber, and we're gonna need some conduit, because that's the primary thing I want this ship to do is jump. So what are we gonna need? Well, I would like to know symmetry. I don't know if I need symmetry, but I want to know symmetry. Well, we'll put that there. No, we'll put that there. Well, we'll work with it. Uh, in fact, let's grab some of this as well, and we'll use that to tell us where middle is. Oh, right! So now if we look at a power block and press R, that brings up our power block stuff. Or you can hold down tab, go ship, and reactor. Same the difference. And the chrome icon is is uh, the FTL drive. And you right-click it, show full tree. So, I want all the FTL stuff. Well, not the not the inhibitor base and warp gate base because um, I can't have a warp gate because it's not a station and I don't plan on using jumping inhibitors on this ship. So I think I figured up last time that I can get all the things or close to all the things. So we're going to need a module that's jump drive or the base drive. Then we're going to need uh, a different group, or a different group of modules, because the blue line shows a different group of modules. The green line shows this one being leveled up. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, and that number after five. So seven minus one modules is what we're going to need. Three, three, four, five. Yeah, seven minus one. All right. So how big are these chambers? Chamber size is based on the reactor. So can't uh, you can change the reactor size after you put in a module but it's a pain in the backside to get it all working nice and once you do so 1840 1840 seems like something historical happened in 1840 so i am going to go in and um on off screen i have a a uh, browser up and square or no no cube root of 1840 the cubed root of 1840 is um 12.25 12.25 12 that doesn't sound right okay so we're gonna try that out uh wolf frame alpha i think it was the the browser i used there oh i didn't show it oops all right, so we're going to go 13 by 13. Why are you going 13 by 13? It's 12.25. Oh, you're right. I guess I could do 13 by 12 by 12. All right. Let's actually do 13 by 12. All right. And we're going to plop that there. That is 1,000. This reactor region. Oh, oh, oh. Functional size is 2,000. That is more than I need. Uh, 1872. All right. So we're going to plop down this guy as our main um, base. Now, I need reactor conduits to connect the chamber bases. Well, the first one are the chamber bases, the chamber groups. So the first one has to be connected to the the reactor itself. So we're going to, actually, we're going to connect it down here. And you can connect like that, or you can make like a pipeway. In fact, you can have redundant connections if you want. So we can do something like that. And that would work just fine. So then once you have it, point at it, press R. And say, oh, yes, I want to specify this chamber as a jump drive base. And it uses part of our reactor capacity. It tells you all about that here. Uh, what all it's going to do, it's going to enable jump drive capability. Uh, 
by default all ships have jump drive capabilities but on some servers you can turn that off so it has to have a jump drive base to have a jump drive uh, power cost changes to 111.1 percent charge time to 90 distance to one okay takes up six rc colas so now i want five more of those let's uh, actually let's do wire this up and each of these five have to be connected to the to the base not to each other i'll show you what i mean here in just a moment so we're gonna do that we're gonna um, change back here that's one Uh, that's not going to do what I want it to do, is it? Oh, no, it's not. There, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Just three. Two. And these groups cannot touch. If the groups touch, they are now the same group. So that's three. And then we'll do... We'll tuck it in here. Four, five. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That'd be five. I need a six. Hmm. I did not plan that well. And that is going to go here. No, that's not going to go here. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to run it right here and... Come on. And we're going to take this one out. All right. So that is one, two, three, four. One, two. Um. What happened? Oh, my symmetry wasn't set right. Okay, duh. Oh, that's not good. All right. That's uh, rotten. Good. So let's get rid of you and do like that. That, there we go. That does our whole six. Now let's start wiring everything up. Because notice I have six module groups, but I only have one noted here. That's because they aren't attached to anything. So we have to attach them with these module uh, what is this? Reactor conduit. Now, you can spin it and make it look pretty. I, I didn't, and I haven't. And we're going to run this here. Oh, I'm not mistaken. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. I haven't why did I turn off symmetry? Because those are going the same places. Now, these do not need to... In fact, they should not touch the... Um, the reactor. If this was to touch the reactor, if I was to put this block here, all of a sudden it thinks I'm going to have three different FDL chambers. Actually, can I do that? Uh, apparently I can do that. Huh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it doesn't let me install more than one jump drive base. I read that wrong. That's the inhibitor. I don't want that. So you don't want that because those won't let me do what I want to do. So we're going to run these here and run another line here. I believe you can actually get away with the... Actually, we're going to test that out. Get rid of that. Run this all the way over here and stick him here. So now I should have... Ah... Okay, it saw those as children, I think. So, can't do that. I think there's a way to do to do something like that, but everything has to be... Oh. Oh, dummy. I had it. <laughs> they were touching the reactor. Duh. It's the safest way to give everything its own line. Its own distinct line. See, now I have all six... My 1 plus my 5, so now let's just uh, start giving them things. And you don't have to set this up exactly like this. In fact, if you don't want jump distance, don't 
give it a jump distance. Uh, so let's see here. That's 26%. I know I wouldn't want jump distance leveled up. So we're going to level that up. That's going to allow us to have a jump distance of two. or multiplies jump distance with two. So I have a whole bunch of jump. Auto charge you can't level up because there's only one, one level of auto charge. Uh, jump charge speed will level that up. Uh, power efficiency. This makes it so it's not as expensive. And multi-charge. Huh. We still... We just... We have a... Blah, 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 blah. We have a fully leveled up max, uh, jump drive. And we still have 40% we can use. So let's see. What's something else we want? Do we want like a uh, mobility? Well, it's usually good to have like a top speed. That's a good one to have. Um... Don't think logistics are going to be for us because I don't think we're ever going to use a mining bonus. Recon, not really our deal. Stealth, ooh. Ooh. Oh, well, that's 28%. That's going to be 14. 28, that's, that's over 40. Oh, it's 30 something. And I would want perma duration. So yeah, that's not gonna work. I was thinking a permanent a permanent cloaked uh transfer fighter transport, that would be devious. But no no I want I want the uh, max out FTL drive. Is there anything else? Just mass chamber. That is just for stations, recon, where is power chamber? I could give a base enhancer that just gives me 10% extra power. I don't have a second reactor, so I don't need a fail safe. And the reactor booster that you hit a button and it gives you temporary extra power. I don't think I've ever actually used it. Ability thrust blast, that's like nitro in a uh, racing game. Oh, anti-gravity. All right, I want anti-gravity. Uh, mobility chamber. Anti-gravity, that would allow me to hover over a planet or something. No, do I really want that? Maybe for a troop drop ship, but not really for... for um, a, a fighter dropper. Fighter dropper? That's not what I wanted. So probably going to hit mobility top speed. All right, so let's look at it. Yeah, that would take us to 100%, which we don't really want. I try never to have it at 100%. Or we could do a defense chamber. Yeah, the shield's a little higher, because I don't actually plan on running with this thing. How expensive is a uh, defense? Uh, let's see here. Shield... Outage Redux, that's 30%. 30. 2020. So I could get... Uh, base Shield for 10 and Base Armor for 10. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a Base Shield and a Base Armor. So now let's find a new spot. And that's what a 12 by 12 by 13 is what I figured, I believe. And now it can't... Now, different flavors of modules can touch each other because it's not going to see... It's not going to see them as uh, competitors. But... The, or it's not going to see them as the same type, so it'll see these as two separate entities. There you go. See, I have two defense chambers. This one is going to be base armor, and this one is going to be base shield. 80% is fine, so that means I can lose 80% of my reactor and that would still work. Also, notice uh, if this light is lit up, the internal, that means it is um, active. See, I just reverted this one, so this chamber is not active. It isn't being used for anything. It's just a, just a helpful tip. Actually, I don't know really how helpful it is, but it's a tip anyway. <laughs> All right, so we have this thing chambered up with uh, a maxed out jump drive and a little boost to armor and a little boost to shields. 
you know, you could have built shields that give you probably more than 10% for what that does. Uh, probably. Yeah, it's 10% capacity, 10% recharge, but also decreases up upkeep by 90%. And uh, the base armor is probably the better choice here, because it drops... I really know it adds 10% of each type of armor. And... Yeah, no, it's 10% of each type of armor. So that's probably the better choice, but I got both. So this thing is starting to shape up. It's becoming ship shape. <laughs> All right, well, I have been JW608. This has been Star Made, and I'll dig you cats later.